don't think this is a battle you want to take. I'll give you guys one more chance to apologize. Shut the f*** up. Don't think they realize what they just started. Hey, these guys wanted this. I gave them a chance. When you play Rust as a solo, it feels like the power of roof campers is something you can never figure out a solution to. But for this wipe, I built a base that would grant me a power far greater than any average roof camper. But I didn't plan on using this base for that, in fact, I just wanted to have a fun wipe. And I thought this would be a creative and interesting base to build. The struggle of building and living out of this base was something very challenging for me to deal with this wipe. And it all started on wipe day playing on Rustoria Small with three 300 players on this tiny map. There are people everywhere. This is such a small map with so many people on it. I love this game. Oh my god. Dude, there's like launch site in tier one on this map. Oh no, there's a wolf. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Sorry, no! You gotta take the wolf, bro. You gotta take the wolf. No! <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this mountain here. Mountain next to power plant is really good. If we can get high ground for the base, it would be sick. Ooh, a bow. Wait, that's huge. I'm happy I died now. So if we can just get over to that mountain and claim a little spot, that'd be perfect. Okay, farming wood here, I'm gonna kill him. Okay, that was a good kill. Here we go, stone. Right, I'm gonna take these arrows and I'm gonna go to the gas station here. We could fight and recycle. If I recycle this stuff for cloth early on, that's gonna be so big. I'm the first one to use this recycler. Go, that's big. Right, any cloth we can get our hands on. All right, let's get out of here with this. That's such a good early game cloth supply. Head straight to the base spot. Now we're gonna bag down. Oh, we got right here. Oh, you didn't have much. Any kill we can get is big though. Heard more footsteps. Here's a guy. Oh, that's huge. Resource. I can craft more arrows with that. God, this bow was the best thing I could have gotten. I'm just farming now. Oh, this guy farming down here. I could kill him. Oh, I'm whiffing. Oh, he fell to his death. Oh, that's good. Here we go, guy right here. He's dead. Let's go. Oh, we are just ruining people's days. Guy farming right here. There we go. Oh my god, let's go. I'm gonna get a bag down so I don't have to go back to the beach. Yeah, let's see if anybody's made it to this supermarket yet. I don't think so. I see stuff spawned in here. I might loot this. Get some early game metal frags. Oh, it's been looted. Damn. Alright, nothing worth stopping to recycle. Let's just go. There's a guy farming wood over here. Let's steal this guy's wood from my base. Let's go. Oh, he had a lot. Okay, that's huge. And he had another bow for me. This is the area I want to build and I'll leave a bag over here. If you guys are enjoying the content, subscribing would really help. I'm trying to make as many videos as possible for you guys, and any support goes a long way. Thank you. Oh, oh, guy. Oh, he's a hazmat. Let's go! We get a hazmat! Oh my god! Dude, this guy had so much. We gotta get a base down. I have the stuff I need. Um, I'm thinking like right over here if I can build here. Yeah, I can. How far can I go this way? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, tower right here. Great base spot. For the time being, I would be living in just a one by one until I could expand upwards and add an airlock with ladder hatches. But to get ladder hatches, I would need a tier two workbench and 600 scrap. This needs to be wood because later I'm gonna have to go upwards with it. All right, I need to get a box down. Well, if I go for a recycle run at power plant, I could get a metal door down right away. Let's go recycle everything we can. Oh my god, it's so much. Alright, let's just go to the recycle run though. This would be huge, we get a workbench off all this easily. There's a horse here. Somebody might be here, I gotta be careful. Alright, let's get recycling, we have a ton. Use this to get a workbench on or take that horse also. Alright, we get a double door as well. Alright, let's go get this workbench on. We can craft crossbows and nail gun and just absolutely start dominating. Not the best horse ever, but it'll be good enough for now. Big thing is I just need to get a nail gun. That'll let me pretty much win any close range bow fight. Okay, let's get this door down. 
Yeah, I could still demolish that. If I farm up enough real quick, then I could put up next layer to this base right away. Right, let's get a workbench up, though, and a nail gun. Now let's go farm real quick. We just need a little bit of wood, and then I'm going to get some of these stone nodes. I'll just leave this wood for now. There we go. Yep, people like this. Just get them out. Let's get enough shit. For the time being, power plant was really quiet, so I was easily able to farm up all the barrels and recycle without having too much action. But this peacefulness would not last too long. There's a guy right there. There's no way he just took my horse like that. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. No way. No way he just insta headshots me like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that. I don't think I can win that. If he didn't headshot me, I could have killed the other one, but that's too rough. What? Oh, there's at least two. No, he's in the bush. Fuck. Damn. I didn't even notice them. What is this? Actually, I'll take this. Wait, I just took up a stash? What? What is happening today? I'm just gonna make one play after and we'll be back to where we were. There we go. Really? Dude, ah. Uh, Things weren't looking the best, and some of my neighbors came over to fight me at my base. Oh, shit. I don't have my HP yet. Let's go! These kills were huge because they allowed me to continue my momentum and gave me some backup weapons. Alright, let's take this to power plant and keep farming. Is somebody's gonna pump me here? Oh no. Oh no. That's a three man. I'm just running. What? The tear just flew across! It's a reindeer! What? How much nails can I actually make? Not many. It's enough. I continued farming scrap to try and get up to my tier 2 workbench. There's a guy that's pretty kitted over there. Read a med syringe and a compo. There's another one. This got a pump. Oh, what? Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, it's like one HP, but still, it's a bumpy. Get a lot of scrap from him. All right, we're back. We're back now. Don't. There's no way that that just happened. There's just a guy with a pumpy in the pitch black right there, right where I'm running home at nighttime. Following my death, I looted the scraps from the previous bodies I'd killed, and then I continued farming scrap, but it was clear I was going to need to win fight after fight if I wanted to secure any loot. So I set out to do exactly that. Oh shit. What? Oh, this one behind me, really?
dude. How did he only do 8 damage with a point blank DB also? Like, how hard did he whiff? Go. All right, I don't know if this guy's alone or not. All right, let's get this home. We can get another nail gun. A little bit of scrap also. See another kitty guy right there. Shit. Too. All right, that was scary. Let's get out of here, man. Too many people. Oh, no way. There's somebody with a gun. No! Dying to that gun there had been another major setback with an inventory full of loot. So I decided to risk a supermarket run and see if I could win some of the fights over there so I could get some loot home. Oh. What does he have? Just a spear, I guess. Oh. Jeez, this is hell. Dude, there's a raid happening over there? No way there's a raid happening right now. This is my raid. Oh, he doesn't have any more mollies. Oh no. I want this DB. Oh, wow. What a shot. Oh, they have guns. Well, this guy's some stuff. What the hell? Of course, there's more, dude. Of course. You can't breathe on this server. You make one play, and there's instantly somebody else at your throat. Tracking me so perfectly. Dude. Go away, Polar Bear. You're gonna get me up. Oh no, this pumpy guy's coming. No, dude. I can't do anything about that. I was dying time and time again, but I kept going, knowing in the back of my mind that even if I died most of the time, if every once in a while I made it home with a good inventory of loot, I would be progressing. This guy right here. He's got a bow. Oh, he had a revolver! Let's go! Where did you come from, Joey? I should be able to get a furnace now, actually. All right, and I can start smelting metal with that. After crafting my furnace, I would need some wood, and it was out while I was farming that I would get introduced to the main enemies oh of this God. story. Dude. I've seen these guys before. They live somewhere around here. Yeah, they live in this, don't they? Ah, I see. Are you kidding me? Dude, this guy had so much, and he's going for that. sucks. While on a run to supermarket, I would get introduced to another enemy group of this wife that I'm going to call the supermarket group. 
This guy's hunting down naked at supermarket with a semi. Dude. He's alive? The strongest naked ever! And then some random guy with semi just shows up to clean it up. The supermarket group consisted of about eight members from what I could tell, and they pretty much spent the entire wipe camping supermarket with guns, making it almost impossible to farm. He's just chasing down nakeds with a semi. Like, what is he doing? But it was when I returned to base that I heard one of my enemy neighbors farming wood. Aw, oh, this is one of them. Fuck these guys. Bro, the semi guy is still just patrolling supermarket to kill all the nakeds. Thankfully, the supermarket group wasn't too coordinated, so I was easily able to find timings where I could get in and get some recycling done. And this run was important because it gave me the final resource needed to get my tier 2 down and enough scrap to tech tree down the ladder. Alright, we're looking pretty good on scrap. I think I'm gonna give up on trying to find ladder and just tech tree it. We seen a bit more for the tier two now. Oh, what? What? This guy has 200 scrap though. I need to get this home. Let's go. Come on, please, please. Let's go. That was such a good kill. Oh my god, he had so much on him. Oh no, what does this guy have? Okay, DB. Bro, what happened to roaming with the semi? Fuck that guy. He's the one who was just over here camping the nakeds with semi. Let's go. We're getting win after win now. The fuck is going on here? It's a war. What is happening at the supermarket? Headshot him. I'm not getting the B2, there's just no way. I couldn't see it. All right, well, I accidentally wasn't recording, but I made some small upgrades to the base before logging off. I added some twig up there to maybe conceal the wood roof. And then in the base, I added a second layer to our wood roof, so it's kind of like floor stacked. These are pretty easy to break, so it doesn't matter. And then I added a tier two workbench with the scrap we had. It's gonna cost us 600 more scrap to get down the ladder hatch, so there's no way I have time to do that tonight. But yeah, that's gonna be it for day one. Hopefully we don't get offline. I would really like to finish building this tower it's gonna be so sick in the end but yeah i will see you guys tomorrow all right guys it's day two let's see if our base is still here okay the twig is still up damn my neighbor over there expanded i still building proof oh my god we still got everything okay let's go i was so scared that this would get offline it's such an easy raid all right well there's only 150 players on right now which is still a lot for a map this small but it's a lot quieter than it was last night so i think it's time to farm up that scrap get that ladder hatch and get to work building our base i'm so excited all right let's get a real kit together and we'll go out Alright, let's get his stuff home. Good run here. Dude, just gonna drop Chinook here while I'm trying to just recycle. Stop, please. <laughs> Let me just get the scrap home. Let's go loot power plant again. What oh, Chinook is still over there. That's interesting. Be an interesting way to get our first gun. I, mean, I got fire arrows. I could shred somebody. No! I killed him. 
No, dude. Ah, oh, come on, man. I should have just ran with the semi. That guy's low. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, what? What? No way. There's one more over there. No, dude. Come on. Come on. I was so close to getting out with that. There's just so many people here. There's so many guns down there. No, he actually came up here and looted this. Oh, and I'm just dead. This paddle fuck is just chasing me across the entire map. Fucking rat. Oh, semi! What? Dude, I knew there would be some loot left here. Please don't see me. No, stop. Please, guys. I'm dropping this. There's no way they find that semi. Oh, here it is. Alright, let's go. They keep all the crossbows. Alright, let's go. We got something out of it, thank god. So many close calls there. We finally got a gun home, though. Following the Chinook fight, I returned to farming scraps so that I could tech tree down to ladder hatch. We're back back. That's cool. Oh, another semi. All that effort here to get a semi, and then we just get one out of the box right after. Alright, 200 scraps, good. And after some time, I was finally able to build up enough scrap to research down the ladder hatch. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Alright, we got it researched finally, man. Took so long to get here, but we could finally build the base. Let's go. Alright, let's get to work expanding the base. So first, we got to break into this upper layer. Then the first airlock will go like this. The ladder hatch right here. Alright, so this is going to be more airlocks. We'll put one here for now. I'm not going to put them all down yet. And then this room up here is going to be like TC main loot room. We'll have another ladder hatch going up to the next area. Alright, so this is going to be like our main area with like TC, storage, workbench, all that stuff. Look at our base, it's starting to come together. That floor is officially just an airlock now, oh my god. New TC is going to go right here. Wow, what a grind it took to get to this point. Alright, let's grab everything out of this backpack. This is all back in the TC. And now we can, like, actually start playing out of our base. Don't have to, like, stress every little movement. We need a lot of metal for the rest of the space. Look at this. We have a double airlock to the front door now. That is insane. All right, so this is going to go right here. Then eventually we'll have another one in the middle there. What is this base, man? What the hell is this base? After finishing the starter of my base, I headed over to Power Plant to farm some scrap when I heard somebody at the Recycler. This guy's Naked Thompson. I might go back over there with this semi, like we have an extra. Oh, 
this is him. He came back with just a fucking revolver, really. These guys ran with all the guns. And look at the view from up here. It's gonna get two times higher also. And I was out recycling, trying to get enough scrap for a semi when this happened. What the hell? Let's do a store and loot here. What the fuck, AK? Why am I getting pushed by an AK here? By multiple AKs. Come on, buddy. Blood, 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 gang, gang, gang. You got a fucking peep, man. Wow, that was pretty badass. The way he said gang like six times. There's not much I can do about a group like that. There's somebody camping this. Every time I get a good inventory, some bullshit happens. Like, what is that? Yes. Yes, I'm getting roof camped and sandwiched from another group. I just need gears because for some reason each ladder hatch takes three gears. It is cheaper to make a garage door than a ladder hatch and a garage door is like three times as strong. I don't understand. With scrap farming feeling like an impossible task, I decided to take a step back and just focus on expanding my base upwards. What the fuck? Uh, I forgot supermarket's off limits. Uh, let's grab a bullet here and research it. Now we can take the semi out. Alright, let's see what we get ourselves into. What the fuck? There's just like three roof camping groups, okay. And this is when I realized that the supermarket group had completed their final stage of controlling supermarket by constructing a base that could roof camp at 24 seven. Average groups these days. These guys don't ever leave their roof. Got off the roof for one second. They're just gonna hold down that body now. Look, they got two people aimed on it. Look at this shit, dude. This is so pathetic. So at the very least, I would try to annoy them. Oh. No way, dude. That guy had so much. I even followed them over to this fight and tried to make a play on them. This guy's fucking blind. Oh my god! Dude, they're still interested in this like 10 minutes later. Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, they're so dumb! Come on, come in here, kid. Dude, Dude, look at them go! Look at them go! Alright, it's been like 10 minutes, I think it's good to go. Another random naked man. And then there's random roof cam. Alright, we got semi learned now. So I can craft a couple of these. I decided to go to oil rig to see if I could make some bigger plays and get my hands on some better guns. Oh, we found a boat. Oh my god, it took forever. Alright, I'm gonna take this to large.
Oh, they just called in heavies. Oh no, they just left on a scrappy. Ah, well I misread that. Damn, I was just a minute too late. What? Dude, what is this guy doing? This guy's just like been crouched in that corner probably for like an hour petrified. Could go slap this diesel in HQM quarry on the way back. Bit risky, but be pretty useful. Okay, it looks like whatever base was here got raided. Whew. Wait, I did the math wrong. It's a hundred high call, not fifty. All right, hundred high call is great. That's really useful for upgrading the core of my base. There's a guy farming right next to me. All right, I'm home. When it turned day, I took my P2 out on a roam to see if I could get some action. Alright, let's go. Alright, that was a good little round. I'm gonna take the semi out now. Oh, it's like a 1 HP Thompson. That's so weird. Oh shit, it's a big ass fight over here. Dude, that guy just shit on me. After dying, I went on a farm run to get some materials so I could keep upgrading my base. This guy's trying to wrap my shit. Oh my god. What? Alright, now I can use this low grade to make another furnace. Take a look. I wish I could just do this. But you can't deploy it on top of the ladder hatches. Oh my god, we are so high up with this. Alright, so this floor right here is going to be windows, but there'll just be like the reinforced glass window. I'm not going to actually put embrasures on these. And then we'll have a ladder hatch to go up to the next level, which will be the first level of actual peaks. So we'll have to do a ladder like this for now. We're just going to go as high as we can with the window rooms. Oh, it's a couple higher. <laughs> Alright, I want to do some upgrades down below now. Alright, so this is the bottom floor. Just get all this armored. Then I should be good to do this level as well. Yeah, I have just enough. Alright, perfect. Now we need some foundations armored also. I'm going to do like triangle foundations on each side to help with the stability. That way if they break the bottom one, the whole thing doesn't crumble. 13, that's not too bad. And these floors need to get like sheet metal, which is really expensive. I have like no metal right now, so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do that. And with the power of the skies now in my control, an opportunity presented itself to me for me to fully utilize my base to get some revenge. Jesus, there's so many of them at it. Dude, and they got the camper. Dude, the fact that they bring the camper to every fight they go to, it's this group over there. They're just the most pathetic players ever. Oh, they're about to do a raid. Oh, I see. They're building a raid base. Now, the supermarket group was about to do a raid on some of my neighbors, and I realized that I could potentially use my base to roof camp them during the entire raid and annoy the hell out of them. Now, it goes without saying, roof camping a group like this while they're doing a raid could definitely be the end of my wipe, but they had annoyed me so much with their roof camping of supermarket this wipe that I decided it would be worth the risk. Oh, I had I killed him! <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, they won the raid, but I at least felt a little bit satisfied knowing that I got some of my revenge back this wipe. Alright, well that's where I'm going to leave it with the base for the day. It's not complete, but it's so close. But hopefully I still wake up with the base tomorrow morning. And yeah, I'm going to log off down here. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, it's day three and I'm not dead. I have building privilege also. That is interesting. I don't think we got touched. Alright, let's go. We get to keep playing today. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to finish the base today. And let's see what we can get ourselves into today. Looks like my neighbors down here expanded a bit last night. Alright, well, I'm excited to play today. To start off day three, I would go on a massive farming run to get all of the resource I would need to fully complete my base. Alright, after all our farming and a bit of time spent smelting, we now have enough resource to complete the base. I have a lot of metal in here and even more in here, so we can get a lot of the layers upgraded. And then we have a ton of stone left, so I want to see how high this base can actually go. And we have enough metal to support all the embrasures and stuff for windows. Alright. I think I'm going to go with like a red. I think it look kind of cool. So if we can get like this whole living area upgraded, that'd be perfect. All right, it's all upgraded. Let's look at this from outside. All right, let's see what this looks like. <laughs> oh my god, that is definitely strong looking now. Okay, let's see, how much higher can I go? Oh my god. Can I go even higher than that? I can? Oh my god, we're gonna need more gears then. I go even higher than that now. I can! It is so tall. Let's just see something. Can I go like... Okay, no, this is actually the final layer. So I'm gonna do this for the final layer. been trying to get the gears to finish up the base and these fucks are roof camping me these fucking annoying little pricks have you seen my base do you think you will win that battle i'll warn them one time i'll give them one warning i'm gonna go over to their base in a second here after i craft this hey guys would you mind apologizing for roof camping at me kill yourself again, all right they want that, okay, okay. I'll give you guys one more chance to apologize. Shut the fuck up. I had yet again run All into right. another toxic roof camping group, and at this point in the wipe, I was about fed up with these types of players. And let's just say this time, I wouldn't only be annoying them while they were doing a raid. I was built so close to these guys, I could practically ruin their entire wipe. This one goes out to all you solos who constantly deal with these roof campers and never get your revenge. This time, I got it for you. This session lasted nearly two hours long. I gave them a chance. Don't think they realize what they just started. Oh, that's a little annoying, isn't it now? Hey, these guys wanted this. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go over there and talk to them. Let's see what their thoughts are on everything. Hey, would you guys like to apologize and we could stop this nonsense? Would you like to apologize and we could stop? Play Rust by yourself. That's a lot about your character. You don't got friends, you don't got family. Okay. It's 6.30 on a Saturday and you're playing Rust by yourself. They didn't want to apologize. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I not finished him. <laughs> Let that guy run with the loot. Get it, get out of there. <laughs> just some random naked pulled up and stole it. I've just been killing them as they run back. Yo. What's up? If you kill me one more time, I'm gonna sit on your roof with a pump shotgun until I get off. Go get on the roof, I don't care. I have satchels to use on Oh, satchels. Oh, you're gonna need quite a lot of satchels. I don't need to raid it, I just need to get it down to the fucking first window floor and sit there with a shotgun. Okay, you come, come do that. He never came to do that. Get off your roof, bitch. Stop trying to roof camp other people. Calm the fuck down. Whoa, no need to be that hostile. We are sorry for roof camping you. Please stop. What, what are you doing sitting in this tower? I'm, I'm enjoying your tears. No, no, there's no tears. It's just our thoughts of you being so fucking stupid that or lonely that mm. you can't, you don't have I am to lonely. Sit That's it. Do you have friends? Were you, are you one of those kids who like, would shoot up a school? <laughs> you seem like the kid who would wear a leather jacket to school. I think you're projecting a little, man. Does your mom love you? Or your dad? Do you even have those? <laughs> you guys started this and I offered you multiple chances to apologize and you told me no every time. Just know everyone on the server knows that you have no friends. All right, let them know. Let the whole server know. That's great. The whole server knows. All right, well, I can't see much else we could do this wipe. We definitely got to put the base to use there at the end, punishing those roof campers. And we got to mess around with the clan doing their raid yesterday also. But I mean, the fact that nobody even touched this base the entire wipe is so funny to me. I've noticed while doing these challenges, when you build these weird bases, people just kind of ignore them. They either assume you're like really dumb or they just don't really want to mess around with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy base I put together this wipe. That's going to be it. I'll see you guys next time. Look at this beautiful standing tower, huh? Yeah, just finished it. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Alright.